Many people think cavities are just a result of eating too much sugar, but there's so much more to it. Let's talk. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about surprising things that cause cavities. First up, let's talk about dry mouth. Dry mouth can be a major contributor to cavities, but why does this happen? Well, one common cause is mouth breathing. Whether it's due to nasal congestion, allergies, or just a habit, mouth breathing can really dry out your mouth. When your mouth is dry, it lacks saliva, which is essential for neutralizing acids and washing away bacteria. Without enough saliva, those bad bacteria and acids stick around and start attacking your tooth enamel, leading to cavities. So if you notice you wake up with a dry mouth, try to address the root cause. Maybe it's time to tackle those allergies or use a humidifier at night. Maybe you need to get your airway checked. Can you not breathe through your nose? Other things that can cause dry mouth are medications, many prescription and over-the-counter drugs, dehydration from sweating, fever, sickness, medical conditions such as diabetes and Alzheimer's disease, cancer therapy, nerve damage, lifestyle choices such as smoking or chewing tobacco, as well as aging. As people age, they naturally produce less saliva, which can contribute to dry mouth. And lastly, everyone's favorite, stress and anxiety. Of course, of course, stress can increase dry mouth. What doesn't stress do to us, right? Next, number two, carbohydrates. Sure, we all know sugar is a big culprit messing up things in your mouth, but did you know that foods high in carbohydrates are also risky? Carbs break down into sugars while they're still being chewed in your mouth, especially fermentable carbs, which fuel the bacteria in your mouth, helping them thrive and produce even more acid. It's a double whammy for your teeth. Enjoying carbs in moderation and maintaining good oral hygiene can help keep your enamel strong and your teeth healthy. Everything in moderation is key. Number three, acidic food and beverages. This may or may not be surprising for most, but I figured I'd still include it because, again, many people think it's only sugars that are bad, like soda. But you might not realize that other acidic drinks, like sports drinks, energy drinks, and even fruit juices can erode enamel and increase cavity risk as well. And don't forget about acidic foods like citrus fruits, since they can erode your enamel as well, making it easier for cavities to form. Number four, medical conditions like acid reflux or GERD can cause stomach acid to flow back into the mouth, which can erode enamel and lead to cavities. Number five, mouth jewelry. Tongue and lip piercings can damage the teeth and gums. Yes, they can, leading to enamel wear and increased cavity risk. I do have a video that goes over how to properly care for your teeth if you have any piercings, since you are at an increased risk of cavities with any type of mouth jewelry. I will link that video in mine below if you wanna learn more. Number six, similar to mouth jewelry, orthodontic appliances, braces, retainers, and other dental appliances can trap food and plaque, making it harder to clean all surfaces of the teeth and increasing the risk of cavities. You have to be very diligent about your oral health and your dental hygiene when you're in braces because you're now at a higher risk for cavities. I'll link those videos in mine as well. Number seven, neglecting dental checkups. Skipping regular dental visits means potential issues like cavities might not be caught early, allowing them to worsen over time. Also, skipping dental x-rays will result in not being able to catch cavities when they are small. Preventative care is of utmost importance if you are trying to limit your risk of tooth decay. Eight, Genetics. Some people are genetically predisposed to cavities due to factors like the shape and depth of their tooth grooves, enamel strength, and saliva composition. This doesn't mean you are doomed forever. It just means you may have to work a little harder than others with your dental care at home and being careful with your diet. Also, some patients may need more frequent dental cleanings at your dental office. It just depends on what you're predisposed to. Always talk with your dentist and dental hygienist on the best treatment plan for your individual mouth. And lastly, number nine, dare I say it, Number nine is not using fluoride. Fluoride always causes so much controversy on social media, but here's the facts. Fluoride helps strengthen enamel and makes it more resistant to acid attacks. Not using fluoride toothpaste can increase the risk of cavities. I will link my fluoride videos explaining how fluoride is not toxic at the levels we're exposed to, as well as the differences between fluoride toothpaste and nanohydroxyapatite toothpaste and how fluoride is better at remineralizing teeth. So if you're cavity prone and not using fluoride, I highly recommend you watch those videos of mine to learn more. But back to this video, there you have it. Nine surprising causes of cavities. I hope this helped you. And don't forget, cavities start small, but can lead to bigger problems if not addressed. 
So be sure to keep up with your dental visits and maintain good oral hygiene habits at home. And if you want to create the perfect oral hygiene routine at home, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment to sign up for my free oral care guide to discover all of the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications and hang out with me on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.